Um, last uh, autumn, I was uh, in holiday uh, and uh, I uh, was in Australia and we, we were in a bush and an Aboriginal showed us their, their uh, life there. And uh, at that day I was wounded in my elbow. Uh, and the Aboriginal showed me a leaf and uh, I put it here and the next day the wound was perfectly healed. Uh, and uh, they told us a lot of other things they do from nature to heal all kinds of uh, diseases. So how can these primitive people know su such amazing things? Probably you know as well, they acquired the knowledge just by trial and error in the past uh, centuries. Yeah, um, 10,000 years ago, an Aboriginal, he picked a berry, tried it, and then he died, and uh, all the others, they knew, okay, don't try this berry again. So, try and error, and looking at correlations, you can acquire simple knowledge very well. So, it's one method to acquire knowledge. Then, uh, the Aboriginals, they brought us to the uh, Ayas Rock. Aboriginal call him Uluru. This is a big uh, red mountain. And there are spots at this big rock where uh, male people, they are not allowed to see it. There are many other such rules where we consider it to be stupid, to be nonsense. Uh, but how can it be that so uh, uh, very smart guys why are such nonsense knowledge? Principally, you can imagine that at some day, uh, an Aboriginal he witnesses uh, the spot of the of the rock, huh? and then half a year later, were no rain. So every Aboriginal said, "Male people should not go in this spot." Huh? So by looking at correlations, you can also acquire very very nonsense uh, knowledge, especially when the situation and the relationship at hand is much more complex. Uh, weather has a lot of reasons, not just looking at some stones. Okay, So putting all that into a context, this is a framework. Huh? So first you have problems with one cause or many causes. The more causes you have, the more complex is it to really acquire sensible, sensible knowledge by looking at it, by simply interpreting correlations. And it gets worse if you have to wait a long time for the effect. Yeah? So if you eat a poisonous berry and you die a second later, you know immediately this berry. Uh, that's wrong. But if you die one year later, there might be a lot of uh, reasons for that. So the more causes, the longer it takes, the more complex is it, and the less you can take the Aboriginal methods to acquire knowledge. Yeah? And by accident, uh, what managers do, and most people in social science, how, how they uh, acquire knowledge today is, they interpret correlations. And that's why you can assume that most knowledge we have in management, also we teach in school today, is wrong because it is acquired by Aboriginal methods. Instead, we need help. We need methods uh, that help us acquire knowledge because we cannot do it by ourselves anymore. We need help, we need tools. There is a, a space of uh, mediums, medium complex uh, problems for instance, uh, if you have uh, if you have to market a product, okay, you have a lot of courses. You want to uh, you you ask yourself which segment, which how do I distribute and allocate my budget, uh, which target groups I address, um, do I online campaign, which positioning do I take? A lot of a lot of uh, courses for for success. And it takes, it takes a lot of time to see the effect. So it's definitely a problem of, of B. Huh? So nearly every 
strategic question and management is not at this of this kind. So we need these methods to acquire knowledge. That's the first learning for today. Learning is like prehistoric man needed a stone tool to open an animal or like we need uh, numbers for calculation or plane for flying. In the same way, we need quantitative methods to acquire knowledge about cause-effect relationships. <laughs> Let's go for the second learning. <laughs>